Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas, this is how to create a Grand Theft Auto style game in Unity and welcome to episode 35. In this tutorial we're going to bring in another character which will act as the mission objective to begin with and we're also going to tidy up a little bit of that UI that starts at the beginning where it's all over the screen and it shouldn't really be until we're playing the game. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial still to come this series and everything else on game development on my channel. And if you've enjoyed this series so far, please feel free to check me out on Patreon or YouTube memberships where you'll learn things like early access, exclusive content, project files and so much more. With that in mind, let's get to work. So, the next character I'm going to have placed, at least for now, uh, down here. Um, because if you remember, the message says to meet Tony, Tony B, in South Last Meadows, and that's going to be here. So what I'm going to do just for now is duplicate this section of the city and just bring it over here. Hopefully by now you guys have actually built up your city uh, way more than what I have done, uh, simply because I have not really had the time, as it were. So let's make sure we get everything uh, in place here. So it's them, isn't it? Duplicate, bring them over to probably about there, maybe. Okay, so that'll do for now. So he's going to be here just by this shop here, let's say. So I'm going to use Mixmo once again, simply because I think it's a great place to actually get assets for free. And I know we've been through Mixmo before, so I'm not going to spend too long doing this. But the character I'm going to use is this guy right here. And if you've played a game I made called Timmy and Mousy, you may recognize this guy from there as a bit of a joke character. So he's going to be, he looks kind of badass in some ways. So we're going to use him. Uh, and he's only going to use one animation really because he's not really going to do a whole lot. So we only need one single animation. Um, and I'm going to use an animation called Offensive Idle. Just because, you know, that looks okay. That'll do. So as always, we need to download with the Collada for the Textures folder and then the FBX for Unity. So once you've downloaded those and put them into the necessary folder, we just need to bring it into Unity. And I'm gonna bring it into the NPC folder. Um, I've already gone ahead and done that just to kind of save time in this tutorial so we're not hanging about waiting forever. And if you get this, we just need to fix now. And uh, let's place him in front of this store right here. So there he is. Bring him there. Let's rotate him by 180. And I think he is a little bit small, so I'm going to increase him. 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. And as always, let's make sure that we do get um, the animation on him. So firstly, let's rename him. In fact, we'll actually call him... Tony B. What can the B stand for? Um, Tony Bono. I don't know. It just whatever. Um, so yeah, next thing we need to do is just extract that animation out of him. So open up the prefab, uh, hold control, press D, and we want to loop time because we want it to loop constantly. And let's drag and drop onto Tony. And I'm going to press play and head back to the scene view just to make sure that his animation is playing as it should do. Yep, he looks okay. Uh, I guess it's up to you whether you want to kind of slow it down a little bit. Um, let's, let's set the speed as 0.5. And let's see what he looks like now. Just curious, I guess. Yeah, okay. We'll have him at half the normal speed. So the next thing we need to do is we need to get to a point where we can only spawn him when we've started the mission. So that means that when we trigger this section over here, he only spawns then. So let's turn him off up top there. 
And we need to go back into the script where our mission starts. So mission trigger and M001. We need to add in. So public game object Tony B semicolon. And we will spawn him um, as soon as uh, we get the message from. So after phone effects play, we'll say Tony B dot set active true semicolon save let's head back into unity and we just need to add him to the variable down there and let's just make sure that that addition of the sequence works as intended and once he's done that what we'll do is we will tidy up some of this UI that we're about to see on the screen. So we need to get rid of everything that's on the screen there and only display it when we actually start the game there. So firstly, let's go and make sure Tony is not waiting for us. He is not, that's good to see. So we should trigger the mission. So now we should go around the corner and we should be able to see Tony kicking it. There he is. Yep, looks okay. He might be a little bit big there so I might reduce them in size let's have 1.4 by 1.4 by 1.4 and what I might do is move him a little bit closer to the wall again you should take the time to customize this a lot more than what I do as I always say I show you the mechanics you put it all into practice so let's save the project and now let's work on sorting out all that UI that shouldn't be on the screen just yet so we need to establish what is on the screen that we need to get rid of. Firstly, it is going to be the um, ammo count, cash count, and the minimap, as well as these wanted stars. And speaking of these wanted stars, pretty soon we're actually going to simulate a wanted level. So keep an eye out for that. And it's going to be in the next couple of tutorials. Uh, basically, everything here needs to be hidden. So the one, in fact, what I am going to do is I'm going to, to I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to manually turn off all of those wanted stars because when we start this, we're not going to have a wanted level at all anyway, and we can use that to simulate. So that's that problem sorted. Now we need to get rid of the hint box, ammo count, cash count, and the minimap. Don't need to worry about the location display simply because we're not going to have a location displayed when we start. So let's go to, I believe it is somewhere, I cannot remember which one it is. I think it's this one, isn't it? AA opening. Yes, that's right. That's the one where we start the entire sequence. So in here, we need to place those particular objects. So hint box, ammo count, cash count. So public. Game object, cash count, public game object, ammo count, uh, public game object, hint box, and public game object, mini map. Is it just those four? One, two, three, four, it is. So they can all be turned off right there. And they only get turned on here down the bottom. So just before we play the fade in animation, we should turn those particular um, UI elements on. So as they appear behind that fading screen, so as it fades with them as well, they don't just suddenly pop in on top of the fade screen. So we've got cash count dot set, not send message, set active 
true semicolon ammo count dot set active true uh, what else have we got hint box okay that's decided it's not gonna work hit box I've got there that should be hint box hint box dot set active true and finally minimap dot set active true semicolon and save and I can't uh, remember if I've mentioned this kind of thing before but generally with scripts when we code them you'll always find that it may start small but you'll constantly be going back and forth between scripts to increase them and do different things especially when it comes to something like this where we're creating a sequence of events which constantly needs to change the more and more we develop so heading back into unity we need to go to where the script is, and I believe it's somewhere here. Um, where's it gone? I can't actually see it for looking. Where is it gone? It's sequence holder. There it is. <laughs> Going blind. Um, so yeah, all we need to do is add in hint box, which is there. Ammo count and cash count and minimap let's save and press play and everything should hopefully look all right now two years later so we shouldn't have any ui on the screen when this pans down excellent and now we begin and we should see our ui there we go Obviously, the wanted level is not there because we do not have a wanted level yet. Come meet me in South West Meadows, Tony B, on my way. I know it's very simple, that phone, but um, you can customise it as much as you need to. And there he is. And there's Tony B, Tony Bono. <laughs> okay, so... Like I say, you customize that as much as you need to at this point. I think things are starting to come together for this mission. So what we'll do next tutorial is we will make it so as um, we have a little sequence, a cutscene sequence. When we approach him, it kind of fades and then there's a camera focused on him and he tells us what we need to do. Something like we need to drive somewhere. So then we can start looking at bringing cars in as well in a couple of tutorials time. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys can see it coming together quite nicely. So until the next tutorial, guys, thank you very much for watching.